Hi guys, um, sorry I haven't been on doing videos much this week. Um, I was getting ready for the big consignment sale that's going on. Um, and today was, um, the consigners, um, pre-sale. So, I made the mistake taking my husband and kids, so I spent more money than what I wanted to. And it was mostly on toys for the kids. Um, but I did pick up a few things. I didn't really get to look through much because they were with. Um, but I I don't know. This time, I don't know what it is. I just, I wasn't wowed like I've been in the past. It's closer. Um, I wasn't really as wowed as I have been in the past. Um, I did find a couple good thing deals, but in my opinion, some of the stuff is just getting priced way too high. And I know it's all about the consigner gets to pick the price, but I've been noticing more and more, like even the clothing items, people are, um, marking it. I don't think I bought any of that. Good. Um. These. I'll just use this as an example like here you can see at the bottom it says full price and three dollars um, so this was a good deal and for three dollars for full price but like I was seeing like um, Carter's sleepers for like five dollars and they had a marked full price and they were like fleece sleepers that were like pilling already um, you know, personally, when I'm marking the clothes, there's only two things. No, the only things that I don't let go down to um, half price on half price Sunday is um, some designer dresses that I had for my daughter. Um, those are the only thing, and that's because I I could probably sell them online for even more than I'm selling in, in this consignment sale. And even at that, the consignment sale, um, if you just consign, they keep 40% plus $12. You have to pay a $12 consigner fee, and then they keep 40% of whatever you sell. Um, if you volunteer for eight hours, they they keep 35%. And if you volunteer 12 hours, they keep... Um, 30%. And really, like, to me, like, at first I was like, oh, you know, you get that extra 10%. But when I sat down and did the math out, really, you're working 12 hours for, like, 30 or $40. And in my opinion, it's not worth it. Um, some people it is. Um, but anyways, I've been noticing there's more and more items clothes wise like I said the stuff that I got tonight was relatively not that expensive but um but like the clothes were a lot of them were and I know today's full price anyways but like even before in the past I'd go through the clothes and I look through and like oh I can come back if this is available still on Sunday and it's half price and it's meant to be mine um but I didn't have any of that jump out at me. And I know last time, like, I got that um, Janie and Jack outfit super, super cute for, like, $4. Not even $4. Like, $3. And, like, that was a steal. And that was marked um, full price. Now, that would be worth it at $3 for full price. But uh, pilled up Carter's sleeper for $5. Like, you can go to Carter's during their sales. Like, they, the Carter's in the U.S. at least, is constantly running sales. And then getting stuff on clearance. I've gotten Carter's fleece pajamas on clearance at, at Carter's for like three or four dollars. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of mindful of the prices. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't go over, get a bunch like I usually did. And I spent more than what I want to. This is just my part of the haul. Um, and my husband and kids stuff is, um, or not my husband's, 
the kids stuff they already have it as soon as we got home they instantly took it out um so i'll start with the haul quickly as you can probably maybe see in the frame um i got this carter's john lennon frame and you know how i love the john lennon and this was only four dollars and yes it's a full price but being this is like a retired thing um, when I went and dropped stuff off yesterday, and being it's in the box as well, I'm like, I have to have that if it's here tomorrow. And at first, when we walked by the stuff, I did not see it, so I was like, oh, somebody grabbed it. I was a little disappointed, but then I went back and looked again, and it was under some stuff. So here's the picture frame. It's super cute. It's got the two little side pictures, and then the one in the middle. And it's got, um, the first picture frame is green and then it's got a little kind of orangish rhinoceros um the center frame is yellow and i think it's got they've got all got like these almost little sun looking things and this one has an orange giraffe and the last one is orange with a gray elephant um but like i said i, I know I've said many times in the past that i love john Lennon and stuff um I will probably, I won't be, I don't think I'll be using this with the dolls. Um, I know like right now, I, I was super tempted, but I decided not to. Um, in the past, I had the complete John Lennon um, crib set. And somebody had that for sale there today. Um, but once again, going back to, yes, this is a consignment sale. But you also have to be kind of mindful of your prices. They literally had it priced as eBay prices. They seriously, they had, it was the um, bumper, two sheets, the mobile, um, one of the big stuffed animals, um, the dust ruffle, and the um, blanket for $500. And they marked that full price. And all I'm thinking of, you know, if you want $500 with that listed on eBay, because you're going to be, you wasted your time bringing it here, because I don't foresee that selling. Um, even when this line was huge, I had, like I said, I had the whole line. I had the diaper stacker. I had the um, changing cover pad. I had numerous crib sheets. I had the blanket, the bumper, the dust ruffle. Um... I can't think of the thing, like not curtains, but the top part of the curtains. I cannot think of what those are called off the top of my head right now. I had two of those. Um, I had the bouncer. I had lots of the stuffed animals, like toys and stuffed animals that went with it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I, I pretty much had, like I said, the whole collection. I had the lamp. Like... I had seen like just the lamp shade sell on eBay, but I had the little whole, it was the whole lamp and I had like the little cutouts of like the giraffe, elephant, and um, rhinoceros. It, I sold that years ago. Like I'm talking almost, well, I'm trying to think of how long ago that was. That was probably close to 10 years ago. I sold the whole thing on eBay for $200. Um, plus shipping, and I think shipping was like $50. So $250. Then you take out the eBay fees. But, like, I had more in this eBay lot than what this person is trying to sell at the Consignments Hill. And yes, I know they don't make it anymore. But I, I don't really foresee somebody paying that much in a consignment sale for it. Um, then I also got... Well, moving on... Um, like I said, I, at first, like, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, and then I saw the price, and I was like, yeah, no. Um, if it would have been, you know, at $100, I may have been willing to buy it and then sell my um, Dr. Seuss stuff, <sighs> but not for $500. Um, so anyways, going on, um, I got this cute little, um, I think it's Fisher Price, yep, it's Fisher Price, um, Hedgehog. It's really colorful and it's like fleecy. He was only a dollar fifty. And they have they call it porcupine. 
To me, that looks like more like a hedgehog. Um, when I wash the clothes, I'm going to throw him in with it. But I thought he was really cute um, for a little toy for my babies. Um, but like I said, I, I wasn't super wowed. Um, these aren't really for my babies. These are more for my kids. Um, are these the pudgy ones? Are they a different brand? Ooh, they are. Oh, that one's broken. Darn. Maybe I can glue it back together. Oh, wait. No, it looks like it goes back in. Um, so before we move down here, I got a water cooler. Really, really inexpensive up north. And... When I spent time at H's house with the kids, um, we were constantly having the issue of our kids, hers included, were always going into the cupboards, getting a cup, and then, oh, I guess it did kind of pop off, I'll have to glue it on, would get a cup, walk away, and then um, not use the cup, like, and then go get a new cup. And I had seen on, I don't know if it was like a Groupon or if it was like on Zool, Zoolily or what exactly it was. Um, I know I saw these somewhere and maybe it was, I am not always sure how to say the brand. It's the um, P-U-J Pudgy, Puj Anyways, I saw these cups and I thought they were so cool. Like, such a great concept. Um, you get, like, a little hook. Yeah, hang it. Like, it's supposed to go on a fridge, but since we're renting, I'm not going to put it on the fridge. But that way, like, if the kids want a drink, they just pull their cup off. They each know their color. Pull their cup off, take a drink, um, drink whatever, and put it back on. So they always can reach their cup for water. Um, and always, it's always at their disposal. And they're not constantly wasting cups. And there's the three colors. There's this pink color. Um, there's an orange. And then a blue. And like I said, this one, it's kind of broken. Um, but the piece is actually in the bottom. So I'm hoping I can fix that. Um, but I... Excuse me. These were $8. So they were a little more than I would rather spend... Um, and they would have been 50% off on half off day, but, um, I didn't notice the blue one was broken, but, um, even just these two, I know when I looked on the website, like, I want to say each cup was, um, I want to say each cup was like 10 to $15 per a cup, and it was like $45 for the set. Um, and I was like... You know, with us having the water cooler, that's a good idea because the kids are constantly aren't getting cups. But um, I didn't want to spend that much on it, but for eight dollars, I will go with it. Um, and this is another one I got. I got some latch bottles. I don't remember if I have any or not. Um, these are the four ounce latch bottles. I got three of them for three dollars. Um, it looks like they washed them and I put them in here. I don't believe I have a latch bottle. Um, I don't think I do. I might. I don't remember. Um, if I do, the plan was just to keep one of these and then put the rest of them um, on the Facebook page of the stuff for sale. Um, I had an Etsy shop a long time ago, um, and I really think I might bring it back, or I might sell on eBay, because I turned them into bottles for, um, for the neonates, or not neonates, the baby think it over, and they would work for the electronic neonates, um, like my Minna bottles I've shown in the past, might not be able to see them all too well. Like, these are all ready to go. They've got their magnets in them um, for the new, or when they sell. And I don't sell them empty unless, or I, I will sell them if the buyer requests. I, if, I personally sell them empty because 
There's so many YouTube videos on how to fill um, a fake bottle. And to ship them, it costs more. And I have my price set at that price plus shipping. Um, and since it'll cost more to ship it with the liquid in it, um, I've been noticing the bottles when I sell them. People have been wanting them empty. And then they just fill them up themselves. Um, so that was a pretty good deal. And like I said, I, I might actually have a latch bottle. I don't remember if I do or don't. And like I said, if I do... I'll just keep the one I have and put these ones in my shop. Um, and like I, I didn't even look at the boy clothes. Um, like I said, my husband was kind of rushing me through. Ooh, this has pants with it. Um, my husband was really rushing the kids and my, my daughter was getting into trouble. My husband was hungry and cranky and my son's just like, are we ready to go? Um, but anyway, so I only really looked at the girl clothes, um, I found a few things I honestly mainly for girl clothes was looking for a special dress for Crystal. Um, there's the special dress that um, Crystal has been really wanting for her Maisie. Um, and I am trying to help her out like friends do and find it for her. Um, I know she's looking for it. She's looked for it on eBay. Um, I've looked for it on Swap. Um, I think she was going to look for it on ThreadUp as well. But, like, we've both been kind of looking for it. And the only one that I've been able to come across was size 24 months. So that wouldn't even work for her um, Gracie, or Grace. So I told her when I, I will keep an eye out when I go either to the thrift shops, um, the secondhand children's store or the consignment sale because there's this consignment sale the just between friends one is this weekend in town and then next weekend there's a smaller one that um it's similar to this honestly i i my husband and i plan on going next week um cause i'm not exactly sure where it's at he knows exactly where it's at um and i want to kind of look around and get a feel for it because, you know, it's kind of kind of depend upon how things go at this sale. I honestly might do that sale because that sale, the breakdown is 65% for sellers and um, a $6 entry fee. So you get five more percent of your sales and it's $6 less than the Just Between Friends one. Um, and... You know, if you volunteer five hours or four hours, you get 65%. If you volunteer eight hours, you get 70%. Or no. If you volunteer four hours, I think it was, you get 70%. If you volunteer eight hours, you get 75%. And if you volunteer 12 or more hours, you get 80%. Plus, they waive your fee. Now, to me, that's more an incentive because you're getting a higher percentage. Like, they're only keeping 15% versus the highest tier or the, the lowest fee is $12 plus 30%, where there it would be $6.15. So it's like, it, it seems like it's a better deal for sale-wise. Um... So, but I, I just kind of, when we moved here is when I found out about the Just Between Friends. Like, it was not long after we moved here that I went to the first sale. And, um, just kind of get the feel of it. So then the spring was when I did my first consigning. And, I mean, I sold about half the stuff. And I made just under $300. Um, where I was a little disappointed today is I took my old um, Kiko stroller there with the car seat cover and I don't know if somebody had put it on hold or what but when we were walking around I didn't see it and when I logged on line um, I didn't see it as sold yet so you know I'll be kind of irritated if they pulled it saying oh there's something wrong with it because there's stuff that 
it's almost like they're more picky than Once Upon a Child. And I get it, like, this is their, this is how the people that run it make money. But there, there's people, like, to me, like, some of it, like, there was a Bob stroller there that was in horrid condition. But because it was a Bob stroller, they still had it on there. So if they pulled mine and left that one there, it just, it, it's kind of irritating because I think sometimes even the owners like judge how people price it. And it's like people are pricing this stuff based on how much they're going to get from it. Um, I know the stroller, if they did pull the stroller and the car seat cover, I would probably just list that on Facebook for a significantly amount less than what they had it or what I had it in the sale just because it was the fees and stuff for the sale but anyways enough rambling about that so I got this cute little outfit it's got Batman and it's got the little Batman or Batgirl little Batgirl bait skirt and then the back it's got the little cape this was three dollars um my daughter insisted I had to have it for my dog and apparently it had these pants underneath it. I didn't realize these pants were with it. Um, these are Faded Glory Newborn. I will probably... I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, just like this little set. It is... One of them is a Just One You and one of them is a Carter's. But the funny thing is, is these are two different sizes and you can definitely tell. So... I basically got it. It's $2 for this two-piece set. Most people that know me know why I got it. It's got the little bumblebee. Um, oh, and the Batgirl set, it's um, purple with um, the bat symbol and then the yellow like normal. Um, this B set, this is why I bought this. And a little, it's yellow and it's got little pink bees all over it. On the chest, it's got this cute this cute little bee and the feet have this pink little bee with the yellow face and on the bottom it's got this cute little yellow ruffle with um pink edging that's why I bought it um this is it's just one new size three months so it might be a little bit big on my babies this I know will be big so I'm not sure what I will do with this it might go back into one of the sales this is Carter's it says three to six months on it so this is obviously bigger than the other one um, this sleeper has like this ribbing on the top that's orange and a pink one and it's got a hot pink flower and an orange flower and the sleeper is just white with all multicolored polka dots um, and there's nothing on the bottom of this one. Um, but I got the... I fell in love with the bees. I'm, I'm a sucker for bees, anybody that knows me. Um, basically, the whole thing with the bees is... My dad collect, collects... He still kind of collects them. Bees when I was younger. Um, he's got a 70 TA Challenger. And when you bought those type of cars... You were able to pay $6 and become a member of what was called the Scat Pack, which was certain muscle cars got into like this club and they, this club would kind of like have car shows and they'd have merchandise that was exclusive to these people to be able to buy. And when my dad showed his car, his car was one of the Scat Packs, um, he... The, first of all, the car is, it's called Top Banana Yellow. It's a bright yellow with black, um, with black stripes. And so, and then you've got this bee emblem on him. We always, you might dad always get to tease that his car was a bumblebee because of the color. Um, so he would decorate the car with bees. So he would start collecting bees. And, you know, I've always had a thing for bees because of that. And, you know, being my dad, being sick, I've just been drawn more and more to, like, bees and stuff. So, I, I absolutely love bees. Um, I also like the black and yellow contrast, too. Um, and then lastly, for clothes I got, this is called From Message. It says, 
Messages from the Heart by... I cannot read that. It is size newborn. And I thought this was interesting. I had never seen anything like this. Um, on the overalls it says, follow your heart. And it just has the two aqua buttons, this little ruffle around the top. The overalls and the overalls themselves are kind of this aqua color. On um, the t-shirt has um, scalloping on the neckline and the sleeves and they are the same aqua color as the overalls. Um, there's nothing on the back, it's just the aqua color. And then on the front of the overalls, on towards the bottom, it's got this cute little applique. And it's got this little teddy bear and a tutu pulling a wagon that has a lion, a zebra, and an elef a pink elephant. And it's got little stars embroidered all around it. And then it's got like this embroidery on the bottom that it looks like it's supposed to be the ground. And that's red, yellow, and pink. And the wagon is red and then the wheels on the wagon kind of are felt. And they are brown. I just thought that was super cute. I had never seen anything like that. So uh, that kind of jumped off at me. And lastly, I know people are going to go wild over these, um, so what I'm going to be doing, um, I plan on going back tomorrow and purchasing some more and then breaking the packs up and selling them if there's still some more there tomorrow. But I had, when we got in there, I had seen there was um, some diapers for sale. And in the past, they had quite a few um, cloth diapers. Well, I didn't see as many cloth diapers. I saw a stack of Honest diapers. So I went over to look at them to see what size they were, and they're mostly size 3, 4, and 5, which are way too big for my babies. And I was about to walk away, and something under the bottom of the pile caught my eye. You guys, I found the Pampers prints. The boys Pampers prints. Um, for those that don't know what these are, these have been long gone. Um, I think these were out even before my son was born. And I think I bought a pack of these. A girl pack and a boy pack. Um, if they were out, they may have been out when my son was born. So that was like almost seven, eight years ago. Um, or they're older than that. Like I said, I can't remember if I bought a boy. I think I bought a boy case and a girl case. And that's why my son was able to wear these, and so was my daughter. Um, but these, I know lots of people in the doll community love these. Um, when I show them to Crystal, she's like, oh my gosh. So her and I are going to split a pack. I am going to keep one, and then just half of it's going to go to her. But um, I think what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm really considering um, op reopening my Etsy shop. And if I do that, well, I'm going to put them on my Facebook page, too. Uh, I'm probably going to be selling them for um, 5 for $10 plus shipping. And um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not 100%. I'm going to go back and see. These are more than what I wanted to really pay for them. But being they are so hard to find, like... Literally, I went on eBay after I purchased these, and the only Pampers Prince diapers, all I typed in was Pampers Prince. The only Pampers Prince diapers that were listed and have been listed for the last six months was a package of, it was a case of these, which was two packages, um, two of these sleeves, and they wanted $99 plus shipping for them and these are size um their size the one two so crystal's excited because she's like i had those for landon and i was so disappointed when i had to throw the when the last one got really rugged and i had to throw it away so she's excited her and i are splitting a pack and like i said i'm gonna go back and Whatever's left in the... I'm going to try to get back in the morning. And whatever's left in the morning, I will be purchasing. Um, honestly, like, people going there seem to be more buying toys, gears, and clothes. I didn't really see anybody walking around or even looking towards the diapers when 
for the time we were there. So I'm crossing my fingers that they have more packs there because like I said, I know people in the doll community. Okay guys, sorry about that. I don't know why it cut off. Um, but these are softer. They're, they're more pliable. And I know the ones that I showed you were the honest diaper. This is obviously a newborn compared to a one, two. So the size difference, but the prints are softer than the honest diapers and like even the insides like to me honest diapers aren't that and I know they're supposed to be oh they're an on bleach they're blah 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 although there has been a class action lawsuit about honest not being as forthcoming about the ingredients in their supposed stuff but I mean these are just this is like a, a Pampers um, swaddler blanket. They're soft on the inside. Or not blanket. Swaddler's diapers. So they, they're they softer on the inside. And they're softer on the outside. I personally would prefer these. I wish Pampers would come out with these again. Um, and I know that Huggies did um, some jean diapers and some some jean diapers and some like Christmas diapers um, I don't know if they do them anymore I know my son had those but those were similar to honest like they were harder but I always like the Pampers ones but this is my haul for Friday the pre-sale of the consignment sale uh, like I said that half up here that is crystals half of diapers because I told her as soon as I saw them, she's like, I asked her if she wanted a pack of them. And she's like, there's 36 in a pack. And she's like, ah. Uh. She goes, I don't need a full pack. She goes, but I want some. And then she's like, would you be willing to split a pack with me? I'm like, that's fine. Because really, I don't need any more. I'm like, I've got other, like, honest diapers in here that I really think I'm going to um, kind of do the same thing and do, like, the bundles. Um, and sell them that way because I've seen people, people in the doll community don't need a, like with Crystal, she doesn't need a full pack of diapers. She, she only needs a few because typically most people in the community, um, that I know of, they keep one diaper on their baby until it kind of starts looking raggy. Then they'll take it off and change the baby's diapers. So a pack of diaper, like this could probably, this will probably last Crystal years, um, for... Landon and so where like I've got these two packs of honest diapers that are half packs that I've got over half a pack here and I don't need them all I, I don't use them all that much so and people in the community all, sometimes only like to buy one or two at a time especially those that have diaper like to have little diaper collections. So I hope you enjoyed this video on my Friday night haul. Um, whatever I purchased, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to go back tomorrow morning. Um, all I'm going back is to see if they have any more diapers, really. I'm not looking to purchase much of anything else. I'm not... I'm not that... I looked around and... I don't know, I wasn't really wowed by the prices, and then looking at the gear and stuff, um, I just wasn't, I wasn't into it. Maybe it was because my husband and kids were with, but whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all later. Bye!